deep in the furnace of a dying star. Eons of fusion have created iron, and as the nuclear furnace is cooled, a sudden and violent explosion spread the iron across the cosmos. Over the next few billion years, these heavier elements accreted into this place that we call the Earth. Time passes, and humans discover this iron deep in the Earth, and discover its mystical properties. They discover ways of forging this iron, and create one of mankind's greatest inventions, the truck stop knife. This is where the story of iron ends, and my story begins. This is JJ Jinx Truck Stop Knives! Now, here you got a kissing crane trapper, which, um, based on the pattern on the scales, it's kind of a red and black plaid, so uh, this could be for Freddy Krueger. <laughs> but no, it's for the American hero Paul Bunyan which, why would the Scottish know Paul Bunyan? Hell, I don't know much about Paul Bunyan, I just know like I've heard the name and he's a wilderness dude for America or something here you can just straight up buy a fucking gun for $300 <laughs> I don't know the legalities of this, I guess maybe you do have to uh, no, it's, it's just a gun you just have to buy the black powder. It's one of those um, replicas from days past, but it's a fucking firearm and you can buy it. USA, USA. And then after you shoot yourself, you can be ready for the field with this surgical kit. Comes with uh, stainless steel construction. Includes three hemostats, scissors, tweezers, two suture sets, scalpel handle and scalpels antiseptic wipes a pen light uh this black cordura nylon bag cordura hmm. this is molly compatible only weighs 0.7 pounds i don't know the metric conversion for that sorry now you can stitch yourself up and then after you stitch yourself up you can impale yourself on this u.s marine saber for 70 dollars Every historian and sword collector will appreciate the stunning details found in this officially licensed USMC ceremonial sword. That's quite a lot of alliteration for me. Okay, here's a spy camera disguised as an iPhone charger. That's wholesome. <laughs> So that you can spy on people in the shower and do all kinds of other ill shit. Whether you're braving the Amazon or hunting trail. Oh, let me let me start over. Whether you're braving the Amazon or hunting trail, this is the pair for you. Bushmaster Ultimate Survival. Oh, these are like separate items. They're expensive. Wow. Okay. Don't know much about them. Okay, now we're getting to the good stuff. <laughs> what? Wow. Look at this wacky, like, steampunk rings. Okay, they're like $15, 20 to $25 a piece, um, depending on what you want. These are rings. That skull is kind of cool. Both of them. Um, then we have Own the Blade of the Reaper. And they have this emphasis on um, this lanyard hole. Okay. Grim Reaper on the blade. Grim Reaper on the blade. Um, I'm sorry. The handle, rather. Uh, it is Santa's pick. Like, half the things in here, it is Santa's pick. One of these is called Death and Destruction. The other one is called Lord of Death. So, they're very metal. Here we have a 
what looks like what appears to be a machete, this tough chunk of steel will conquer all. So like, you know, William Wallace wielded something like this. Uh, genuine leather lanyard. Now, for those of you who don't know, genuine leather, genuine. It's it's kind of like steaks where you have like choice and prime. Genuine represents a class of leather which is actually really shitty. So whenever you see it's genuine leather, it doesn't mean genuine like it's real leather. It means genuine leather like it's shitty leather. Um, but it's, it's, it's a machete. I don't know what 1090 carbon steel is, but 1090 carbon steel is um, probably bad. A certificate of authenticity. <laughs> yep. It's a shit steel carbon, shit carbon steel machete. I can vouch for that. A weathered blade finish. Well, if you just use it, you'll get that anyway, right? Oh, my goodness. What's this? Make sure you're repaired for any emergency? Wow. That's a big claim. Oh, this is the mystery crate. $70, $140 value. I've opened up two of these at this point, one by myself and one with, with uh, my friends back in Thanksgiving. It's just full of doomsday prepper stuff. It's a lot of fun. And, and the actual crate is actually nice because it, it's got a waterproof um, like gasket in there, like an O-ring. Well, liner. Well, it's not really an O. It's a box, a box ring. And uh, it's worth... I think it's actually kind of worth it. <laughs> Moving on, we have a crossbow from N48. Um, rocket bolts. Rocket bolts up to 160 feet per second with the self, -cock self cocking crossbow. Interesting. $40. I mean, that ain't that much money. I might buy this just to know what a self-cocking crossbow is and how it works. Uh, are you tired of darts? <laughs> You'll never get tired of this set. Include I, uh, It's a throwing knife dart set. That sounds dangerous as fuck. Okay. There's nothing like a Hibben Karambit. There's that guy, Hibben, again. And it's a crazy fantasy Karambit. It's probably, I mean, Hibben's stuff, I'm not, I don't own any of it, so it's probably good. It's probably fine. I don't know. And on the end of the page is a, sh is that a shillelog? Or a Deliver that crushing blow against attackers. The self-defense experts at Night Watchmen have created the traditional Blackthorn sh shillelog. Shillelog. Fighting stick. Yeah. So now you can buy a shilla. Yeah, it's hard to, it's hard for us Americans to say. Now for thirteen dollars, <laughs> you can't really beat this. This this renegade Bowie is unbelievably tough. And you can get it per personalized for five dollars. It's a Ridge Runner. Uh, renegade Bowie. It's probably really bad. Personal protection in a flash. Oh, it's a belt knife. So it's a knife that's in your belt. Buckle. Okay. That sounds safe. Yeah, keep your knife right by your junk. This is a, like a, a Native American hatchet, which is also a pipe that you can smoke things in. That's actually kind of racist. <laughs> uh, here we go. Uh, advertisement for a Knife of the Month Club. This is the knife that we just got in one of our unboxings. I've also got this knife fr from another unboxing. This looks like the Red Guardian. <laughs> Except it's black. Interesting. Moving along. Here we have a Night Watchman assortment of... Um, Battle sticks, bow staff, Joe staff, and Eskrima stick. I don't know much about them. Okay, here we have a really bad sharpener, uh, sharpening kit. I wouldn't use that. 
don't use that. Now, this is something interesting. I don't understand how this is legal. These are called subcaliber devices. These are inserts that you put into a flare gun so that you may shoot shotgun shells and gun cartridges. And somehow that's okay. Like that's not um, considered a firearm somehow. Um, so you can get one for 12 gauge and you can get one for a 45 LC round slash a 410 shotgun round. How is this okay? It's like, you take something that's not a gun, you take something else that's not a gun, you put them together and it's a fucking gun. But it's not? I don't know. I'm not gonna... That's not something I want to test or go with. I would rather go with a timeless sword design at an unbeatable price. For $40, this display sword has... A 22 and 3 quarter inch mirror polished 420 stainless steel blade, which is housed in a fake leather scabbard. This is foul leather. With metal decoration accents. Beautifully designed and crafted. Medieval style swords. Perfect for display. That's cool. I mean, if it's made to look really sweet and you put it on display, you know, isn't that what you want? Uh, Star of David's sword. <laughs> Okay. Here. What the fuck? From the jaws of a ferocious fire breathing monster. <laughs> Fifteen dollars. Oh, I wish I could got one of these in my mystery crates. It's it's like a a barbed spear. Oh wait, but the blade is like it's like a double blade. Is this a sword or what? Forked Tongue Sword. Okay. The Red Dragon Forked Tongue Sword has just as wicked and deadly a bite as any of these reptilian titans out of legend. Who writes this stuff? I would like that job. 18-inch <laughs> Forked Tongue Blade with sharp red fire-breathing dragon design. Includes an adjustable sturdy nylon shoulder shoulder strap sheath. <laughs> Sharp razor like cutouts measures blah blah blah. Um that that's pretty amazing. I might have to get this. <laughs> uh, I've seen this blade a number of times. They make them into a lot of different styles. It's kind of a, a, a obtuse cut tanto. Uh, with a bunch of holes in it and uh, they make them in different styles and stuff it's assisted opening and um, I don't know it, it it looks okay but I can't bring myself to buy one um, here's a Vietnam veteran cap so you can steal valor here is a spiked mace so that you can kill people and here is a, bre a breathtaking, ferocious beauty, which is a knife that has like a fire breathing dragon on the handle. That's fine. That's cool. Here's a stun gun disguised as a flashlight, or maybe it's a flashlight disguised as a stun gun. You don't know until you turn it on, right? It's like Russian roulette, except it's a 50 50 chance, I guess. Uh, and then they got like this other stuff uh, laser with barrel mount it's a gun sight thing uh trench knife replica a graceful yet fierce oh this is interesting this is a chinois folding knife which looks a lot like hang on gonna dig out an actual knife here some I can find it because I have so many knives. Oh, Jesus Christ, where are they? Oh. Where are they? Where are they? Mm, here it is. 
It reminds me of this knife. The, uh, kind of like a Gonzo Firebird style ish. I mean, there's tons of them that you can get in this kind of configuration, but um, the hand feels pretty good. I'm kind of projecting on this, but anyway, that's your Axis Lock Gonzo Firebird model. Um, since I brought it out, I might as well tell you. FB760. It's it's Chinese, but man, this is this is a good knife. And it's an Axis Lock, which is smooth as fuck. Anyway, put that back in my knife box. Here we have a giant fucking marine knife. The Marine's friend since World War II. Um, so it's a $20 marine knife. And here's, just, just so you know it's real, is uh, a guy carrying what looks like an M4 with a whole bunch of stuff strapped to him and a pistol on his hip. But no knife. Hmm. I guess he lost his friend. Here are some blue throwing stars called the Circles of Death. <laughs> Including a nylon pouch with kanji accents. Oh, I guess this is the... Oh, sorry. I'm on a tripod, so I'm like in the way here. I guess that's the sheath. Okay. Nine dollars for the set. I mean, that looks like something I could buy and throw on a tree and make a film. Um, say that I did it. Okay. A sleeping bag. Yeah. Here, this, this model was like, <laughs> okay, am I, am I modeling clothing or jewelry today? Uh, get in the sleeping bag. <laughs> uh, smoke them out. Here's a pull pin smoke grenade. Perfect for ev events. Perfect, perfect for events paintball or just having fun in the backyard what events they don't they don't specify um like oh my long lost brother just flew in from another country i'm gonna throw one of these off in the airport <laughs> fun in the backyard yeah i think mean, uh, who writes this shit? Here is a collection of M48 Hall of Famers for one great low price. 150 bucks, and you get what appears to be a tactical shovel, a dagger, a fucking spear, uh, looks like a, like a, almost like a Roman knife, a uh, short sword kind of thing, and then an axe. Um, all of this can be yours for 150 US dollars. Here's a replica gun that's got like some file working done on it. And file working, you know, I don't know what you call it. Um, etching, etching uh, done on it. It's a replica gun. It's pretty nice, nice looking actually for $27. If you're into this kind of thing and you just want to put, throw it on your mantle for, fireplace whatever that's kind of neat it's a reproduction 36 caliber western style navy revolver including a display stand measures 13 inches overall constructed of steel it is a non-firing replica Con concealed weapon on board what is this it's basically a little wallet for you to put your concealed weapons permit on and just so that you can feel very validated about your self-worth they include a badge that just says concealed weapon permit. <laughs> uh, and there's another Hibben knife. All right, moving on. We got um, modern tactical and fully functional swords oh, just a couple of honshu swords and then down here we have a another pen 
fishing pole. Another one. I guess it's a different color. I don't know. And then they're selling you some food. You can get pasta baranara, chicken noodle, chicken and rice, beef stew, five bucks a bag. What's this? Uh, take a chill pill or gummy. So I guess this is the vitamins. Hmm. Now we're getting into some like info wars peddling shit. Oh, here's another Confederate States bed spread. Sleep soundly in Southern comfort. Oh, such a nice phrase. Santa approved. I'm just going to keep going because I can get very political here. Gun parts. So like, I, I, I don't know the details. I don't, I'm not a gun guy, but it looks like they offer, they, they, they give you like the tools and the parts to make parts of a gun. I don't know. Here's a baton stun gun for uh, 40 bucks. That looks like pretty much every non-lethal weapon you need all in one. And <laughs> just so they don't see you coming, only $60? Really? It's a fucking ghillie suit. Need to disappear into the woods? Then you need this camouflage ghillie suit. Covered in seven distinct camo color shades. This suit is virtually invisible in wooded environments. Light, breathable mesh for all day comfort. Well, I wish they had that back in the NOM. Um, they go from medium up to 2XL. Mildew resistant, rot, rot proof. And hopefully they mean crotch rot too. And fire retardant. Okay. Um, blah, blah, blah. Odorless. No foreign smell. <laughs> Odorless. No foreign smells to deter game. Includes jackets, pants, weapons, wrap, removable hood. Yeah. I'd pay $60 for a ghillie suit. That's pretty sweet, man. I know a lot of people who'd like, if I got that to, for them as a gift, they would fucking love that. Here's a cane that turns into a knife so that you can kill people. Oh, look who it is, our favorite man, Hibben. Moving along. This is a really shitty knife. Ridge Runner with like this cherry wood inlay. They make it look really nice, but man, it ain't. I don't own one, but I, uh, I think I saw one and I was like, wow, they make the picture look so much better. This is like the McDonald's um, fast food photo of knives. And if you wanted to be Legolas, then you could get a sword? Sure, why not? Um, this is capitalizing on Lord of the Rings. Next. Um, some religious bullshit in the form of pocket knives. Armor of God. The shield, the sword, the helmet, the blah. I'm not religious. So I'll just move on and go to the time-tested ultra-modern materials. This is basically like a... Um, a spearhead that you buy and you can like make your own shaft for it and they got this, this this wicked looking logo amazon jungle survivor and the logo just looks like some kind of a weird fetish to scare off spirits or something <laughs> um here we've got the rock bottom buckshot oh okay now we're getting into the firearm section of the catalog. Uh, they're, they're selling bullets. Here they got some blankets that replicate US, I guess, GI stuff. A battery powered lantern for 10 bucks that collapses. And at this point, you just sort of get kind of bored and flip through a lock picking keyring kit thing. Uh, cut resistant Kevlar gloves, a Schrade first generation OTF knife for $25. Um, I actually own this one. It's kind of neat. It was fun when it first came out. And uh, it does exactly what the description says. It 
comes out the front. Anyway, I know I've talked about this knife before, so. It's just kind of interesting how they're still selling the very first generation of these knives, and it's been like so many years. They just can't sell it fast enough. They, they can't get rid of it. Uh, I don't know anything about watches, but there's some watches. This is like a knife uh, roll for you to store and display your knives. 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 Now there's a strange, this is this is common to every catalog, interestingly. Um, right around the middle, you get this like two pages of like uh, black and white uh, printed stuff which advertise various things that you know, here's like a knife month, a monthly knife club. There's a monthly sword club, sword of the month club, and they have the old school like, if you want to order stuff by mail, <laughs> uh, you can fill this out and actually order it by mail. It's in, instead of using their website, and um, I just think that's kind of neat. It's like. They still do that, and they attach advertisements to it for their, like, monthly shit-hits-the-fan prepper boxes. Okay, I'm going to speed it along because it's been, like, almost half an hour, and we're, like, halfway through this thing. Here you have an assisted open USMC knife. Here you have, like, a, a trench knife that's made to look like something that Darth Vader meets Robocop. Um, here's another... Hibben knife. They're expensive, but they're not that expensive. I'm really tempted to get one just to see if it's decently nice. Maybe I will someday. Uh, this is the baddest knife on earth. It includes a, <laughs> it includes a free hat. <laughs> Those are two phrases you want to put right next to each other. What am I looking at? This is like some kind of a cyborg knife. Um... A cyborg Spartan knife. Okay. Next, we have a Honshu neck dagger knife. I'm not too into neck knives. I do have some, but. Um, and then you got this $20 Timber Rattler set that's a big knife and a little knife, and they're probably really awful. I've had a couple of things like this where it's like a game skinning kit. Um, it's like every knife you need to process game. Here's a dagger, a bayonet. It's a bayonet for thirty dollars. When you, I guess they have a bayonet. Okay, it's a bayonet. Uh, over here you have an Arabian heartwood scimitar, which is. A pure chopping machine. Uh, scimitars were more and more for slicing, but anyway. Oh, here's something interesting. You have an orange, blue, and red variants of the same knife. Descendants will be carrying all of these into space? <laughs> what? <laughs> it has a keenly sharp 4-inch titanium-coated stainless steel blade with a two-toned edge and textured matte black spine. The Ultratech style aluminum handles has TPU scales, I don't know what that is, with a metallic accent and it features a glass breaker and bottle openers. <laughs> when you're in space, you're definitely gonna need a glass breaker, right? <laughs> I love how they make this, they make this claim in the title, but they don't address why anywhere in the text. And for that reason, I kind of want to buy all of them. <laughs> I'm gonna mission to Mars <laughs> for high speed Im for for high impact encounters. Um, this appears to be like a boot knife style of thing. And then here's uh, some kind of what, what the hell is this? A grappling hook or something? Helps you pick up, open, and even protect yourself. A cross between, I was right, a cross between a grappling claw and a multi-purpose hook. Gravity pushes the jaws open and the jaws close when reversed. 
Hmm. All right. Here we have a... Um, I really have to start breezing through this stuff. The video is getting long. A crossbow, a marine knife, another one, a fuel free flame. F Explain to me how this works. A fuel free, flame free lighter. That doesn't make sense to me. Anyway. Uh, no more worries about locking your keys in your car. It's one of those Slim Jims, I think they call them. A karambit for your pocket, so it's a tiny little karambit blade by Timber Wolf. Uh, sturdy and reliable. This looks like a light that you can hang from stuff. And then uh, a mountain man hunting knife for eight bucks. That's all you need to know about that. Rocket fast opening with the stiletto. Top rated. You can get it engraved for five dollars. Uh, here are some scorpion. That looks like a scorpion airsoft gun, and uh, I guess that's an AUG. That uh, looks like uh, what are they calling them? Okay, airsoft pistol. I was right, scorpion pistol. This one is the MP44 rifle. And this is the P2300 airsoft guns. That. Um, this is Gandalf's staff, so that you shall not pass. This is a holster with some other pockets and stuff on it. A compact scope, ninja stars. I don't know what the fuck that is. I see this advertised all the time. It's a magic stick that like gives you free cable television somehow. I don't know. Here's a K-Bar ice <laughs> scraper. <laughs> All right. Uh, a golden compass, like the movie, but it's bug out ready. A cat uh, thing. Yeah. And a very offensive cultural appropriation axe with a chief head at the top. It looks kind of pissed off. Maybe it's the smallpox. Uh, all right. And we got a two pack of more U.S. Marine knives. They have so freaking many of them in here. And then here is a Damascus style knife. I doubt it's real, it's only 30 bucks. Another Donald Trump coin if you're insane in the membrane. Some tactical gloves that don't cover your fingers. Uh, add power to your punch. Law enforcement and military style. So they're in the style of law enforcement and military. And then finally, for this page, a Black Legion 25 inch massively malicious beast for $20 this can be yours visceral to look at and impressive to wield it's an Amazon hunter and after you slay your prey you can settle down and have a nice relaxing coffee in your skull cup or your uh, wolf cup or your like what is that, like a Knight's Templar cup, I guess? North versus South. <laughs> so, for those of you in Scotland, this is the South. These guys lost, and they never got over it. This is the North. These guys won, and uh, now we're in charge. Okay. And then we have the Robocop knife, except it's black. And if you don't know what that means have a look at a previous video where I, I talk about the Robocop knife. Here's a fucking gun. That shoots BBs. I gotta, I gotta move faster. Here's another one of them cane knives. Um, this is one of those re 
self-charging like lights that you never have to charge. Tactical pens, which are basically knives disguised as pens. This is a Kershaw Shuffle um, clone. <laughs> I am going to take a moment to dig up my old Kershaw Shuffle. This is this is too uncanny. I saw this knife and I was like, oh, the Kershaw Shuffle. Got found it. I will open the blade and show you how it's like pretty much the same thing, <laughs> complete with the bottle opener on the back there. Um. Actually, there are some differences. This has kind of like a couple of flipper handles on the side, and and um, the Kershaw Shuffle has a choil that lets you put your finger all the way out to the end. But gosh, doesn't look doesn't it look so eerily similar? But I guess that's not the same. So never mind. Kershaw Shuffle is kind of a neat little knife, though. Rub your worries away. I do that every night, sometimes twice a day. Uh, flow, a throwing axe, another trench knife. Forget the Red Guardian, and you can collect a whole goddamn set. You get throwing knives and a sword. Um, and that's that uh, survival bow. So it's a bow. Okay, here's another one of those twisty knives, and here's a ball and a string. Tried and true self-defense. Keyring not included? <laughs> Do they show a picture of a keyring? You know, like, just to let you know, that doesn't come with it. <laughs> I don't know. All right, we're making progress. Forget the Red Guardian. You can have the whole fucking... Oh my god, every red knife in existence. For $30, you can have this whole set. Wow. Okay. Uh, another survival blanket. This is basically pepper spray in disguise of a pen. This is a bunch of um, bags for water. And this is a big knife. For $13, that's built for hacking and chopping with ease. By Xenoburn. Xenoburn. <laughs> that's, it sounds like, that, that, that's the material Donald Trump wants to build his wall out of. Anyway, um, then you have this thing. It's a Punisher symbol, and you pull the teeth out, and it becomes a little knife. Outstanding. Oh, these are kind of nice. These original, they're like gentlemen's knives. These little folding fillet knives that, um, they're like slim. And, uh, I mean, they're not going to be well constructed. It's, it's, it's Ridge Runner. But, uh, I like the looks of these, at least in the pictures. And here is a handheld scanner so you can listen to the police as they, uh, make their way to your front door to bust it down because you bought this shit. Okay. Heck, heck through the toughest trees in the jungle. Yeah, you're walking through the jungle and you're like, oh, those trees are easy to cut down, but fuck that. I want to hack down the toughest trees because I got the Timber Rattler $20 Outlaw Bowie. But why hack down the trees when you can hack down the whole goddamn forest with this, the real ancient, the real deal ancient Chinese warrior weapon, Santa's pick, Santa. What are you, a fucking mall ninja? <laughs> okay. Oh, here we go. <laughs> the must-have weapon for the modern-day warrior. It's Forged Warrior $60. Um, spring Steel. I don't know what this is. It's like a j stick with a blade on the end. I guess. And then here's a lock, and when people cut it, it sounds annoying. Oh, here's the tactical K bar. I got that for my buddy Fishbulb. And here's a bunch of um, explosives. 
so that you may blow shit up. And here's a collection of Rampage, a, a, a color for every EDC? A color for every EDC. The fuck does that mean? Ah, whatever. These are like the kind of things I would expect to find at a gas station. They're seven bucks a piece, but you can collect them all. You get the pink, you get the green, you get the rainbow and the gold and wow. A color for every EDC. That's a phrase I will not get out of my head. And here's this is interesting. This is a German design. This is a, a, a style of knife that I've been I've seen before. It's like the a, a, a kind of a flat, broad handle, and they got this like a little loop at the end. And that, that's actually an older style of knife um, from back in the day in Germany. And so you can you get sort of a recreation of one for fifteen bucks, but. I don't want to spend that kind of money. And then this is apparently a glass skull with a cork in it for 10 bucks. Or you can just buy a, a bottle of Crystal Skull vo Vodka and get the same thing, but it's filled with booze. Transform your phone into a professional camera. Okay, so it's like a, a zoom lens that you clip onto your phone. That's kind of neat. Fifteen dollars. Wow. Okay. This mammoth toothpick is sure to trample any task. So this is a mammoth themed knife. Thirty-eight dollars. Um, okay. Dark brown wood handle scales are secured with brass pins. Blah blah blah. It's a big knife. It's quite a bit of money for Bud K, so it's probably better quality than most. Oh, yeah, yet another fucking marine knife. Enough with this shit. I'm just gonna move on. Um, this is like a shroud for your guns. These are some different signs that you can buy. I, I like the Sasquatch themed ones. Uh, don't, don't stop believing. Please do not feed the Sasquatch. Um, Yeah, that, that's kind of an American thing. You find these a lot in, like, swap meets and flea markets and stuff. Um, stake your claim for $19. I'm not reading anything too special about this knife. It's a claim staker Bowie. Okay, what, what the hell is that? Guaranteed to oh, we, oh, okay, this is like a fire starting stuff. I actually own one of these. This is a massive knife that's like, it, it, it's freaking huge. Um, let me see if I can find it real quick. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> it's so big that only it fits in my camera when it's closed. <laughs> this was, how, how much did they sell these for? $13? And it, it's just fun. It's like, it's like, it makes me feel like I live in a dollhouse because it's that big. Uh, it, it's just a novelty knife. And it, it, it's, a, it's a back lock, which is kind of interesting. Now, this ain't the highest quality, but what can it's obviously this is just a it's it's for fun so i'm glad to see they're still selling it and then you got a some kind of a flag thing and some skulls that are like see no evil hear no evil speak no evil <coughs> resin statues brass knuckles um uh, Guys, as a paperweight, yeah, thin, thinly veiled, veiled disguise. And here's a timber rattler, ridiculous looking knife for fifteen dollars. That looks like something I would get out of my grab bag things, but anyway. Whoops. Moving on. Oh, 
this was something that I thought about getting, actually. It's a tactical stocking. It's like a stocking that's made to look like it's um, Spec Ops, you know. And, and you can buy them where, I guess this is just for the stocking because it's 10 bucks. But you can buy them where they, they like stuff them with shit. And that, that sounds cool. These are little like waterproof capsules to keep your cyanide pills. Um, another Lord of the Rings sword. Um, a tactical rescue knife that fits snugly in your pocket with pack of wood handles. Okay, that's fine. Oh, and another like knife. Uh, collecting holder things. American throwing knives. Show your patriotism. Constructed of rust, res rust resistant steel, not rust. Eh, whatever. American flag throwing knives. Oh, here's a. Uh, the Great Alaskan Ulu. My, how things sort of circle around. Um. What does that say? It says back, back by popular demand. So apparently people liked this thing. It's it's an Ulu. Undercover th throwing blades. Oh, so it's an axe that comes with blades, and it's called undercover. Each thrower has a compact and lightweight, solid stainless steel construction with a black, non-reflective finish. It's like they're going all stealth on this thing. Like this is the Blackbird of. Uh, Knives and, and axe and oh, that's the Herulean sword. Uh, uh, Link uses this to slay Octorox and Ganon. And here we have a Timberwolf honors the American veteran's knife. Here's a bunch of watches, and uh, now you can never run out of juice again because this guy powers his phone with using his righteous beard I, I mean his solar charger uh anyway 25 bucks uh wiping your ass can be a real bear <laughs> i like how they zoom in on the bear's like snout <laughs> it says life like details and it zooms in on the nose never mind the rest of the body and the fact that he's holding your toilet paper it's like look it's lifelike. Look at his nose. <laughs> uh, whoever made that decision, I praise them. Another Hobbit knife. Uh, Kissing Crane, Crane Premium Hump... Pre uh, I'm running out of steam here, guys. Only a few pages to go. Okay. This is basically um, a small hunting knife. I actually own this black one. And it's really nice. I bought it on sale. I got it for less than this price. And the moment I saw these, I was like, I'm, I'm going to end up buying one of these eventually. Um, and I really like it. And oh, where it is. Oh. oh, shit. I dropped. I had too many knives. Here it is. I really like the sheath it comes in because that's... They mentioned it comes in the sheath. Well, there's the sheath. But it, it's actually... It, it's like a fitted, tight leather. Um, it's 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 really tight. And this this sheath is just excellent. Um, and then the, the, the knife itself just reeks of quality. Kissing crane quality. But, you know, this is basically a clone of the bud... Uh, bud. The buck... Um, not, not the general, but the smaller one. I don't remember what it's called. But if you don't want to pay the exorbitant price that they ask for, but you still kind of want the same sort of experience out of a knife like this, you can get a pretty handsome blade and a pretty handsome sheath. And I really like it. Okay. Moving on. Uh, another knife disguised as a pen. This is a whistle. This is racism. And this is more racism. And this is a, a telescoping um, uh, uh, asp, what do they call these? Uh, baton. I actually own one of these finally. Um, I didn't want to mention it because like, I bought it while I was on the road. 
and I wanted to make a video about my road trip, but I actually got my hands on one of these, and I'm not going to demonstrate it now because they're actually a real pain in the ass to get back to the collapsed form. But, man, you could fuck somebody up with one of these. It is way, way dangerous. <laughs> um, but long story short, I couldn't buy these. I couldn't order these in the state that I live in. Or I guess province, whatever you want to call it. But I found it in the store while I was on the road. And I was like, well, I can just buy it and then drive it across straight lines. <laughs> so I did. Here's a fantasy sword. From this is the uh, uh, Exotath. This is a lockpick that is combined with a gun, and then this is um, a misogynistic bunch of pictures of women with machine guns. Uh, this is a gift bag for that special special Bowie knife. I don't know what that is. I'm not going to investigate. I, I got to keep going. People will definitely take notice of these sword canes on uh, more sword canes. There's quite a lot of those. And another crossbow and a Celtic uh, knife. You can steal gasoline with this thing and you can get <laughs> buy one, get one free. Um, it's, a, it's, it's a siphon. Okay. Kissing crane for the veterans as a trapper. And then there's, there's, I don't know, some guy with a holster for a shotgun and a pistol together. Okay. Here's another one of those, like, obtuse tanto knives by Ridge Runner for uh, 20 bucks. Here's a old-timer uh, woodworking tool set all-in-one kind of folding knife sort of thing. This is a bolt that doubles as a money compartment so that you can hide your money in a bolt. <laughs> These are fake Damascus for 13 bucks. Come on, that ain't real. Ridge Runner. All right. And to round things off, this is finally the last page. The Sidewinder packs a pretty nasty bite. Uh, this is a $30 knife that is made by somebody that I don't know. Here's a flashlight with a glow-in-the-dark handle. All right. Uh, a steampunk heart jewelry box for $15. Yet another cane knife. All right. A set of throwing axes for $10. And on the back page, you got some watches a lighter holster that doubles as a knife I like that a lot and Lucille from The Walking Dead well there you go I started off kind of slow because I was going page by page item by item <sighs> nearly an hour later here we are that is what the Bud K catalog experience is like so Mr. Stuart Devon I hope you appreciate my guide through your Bud K catalog over in Scotland. Good day. This is JJ Jinx Truck Stop Knives. <laughs>